Hello again and welcome to another edition of Southern Country. Hi, I'm Herb Southern. Welcome to the show, my friends. Today, I'm very lucky to say I'm surrounded by Lone Star. Woo How you doing? Welcome oh, to Southern Country. See you, sir. Welcome to know? Southern Country. All right. Welcome cool. to Southern Country. I had an opportunity to interview you guys back in 98, and I wound up in a hospital today. We were supposed to do that interview. Oh, man. So here we are, uh, 10 years later. Hope 10 years see what later. happens. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Lone Star. Talk about the members, the instruments, and vocals, or whatever you do for, as far as the band's concerned. Okay, I'm Michael Britt. I play lead guitar and sing background vocals. I'm Keith Rainwater. I'm the drummer, and I do not sing background vocals. <laughs> Cody Collins, the lead singer, and I uh, play acoustic. Dean Sams, I play piano, and I sing background vocals. All right. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the album coming out, guys. you got something new going on right now. The Future Is Now, I believe is the name of it. Who's going to pick up on that? Uh, the new album is going to be out in hopefully end of September. Uh, we're right. still working on it, so we're having to rush home after this and bust our butts and try to finish it. But <laughs> it's called The Future, and we've got a lot of great new songs on it. You'll hear about three of them tonight at our show. Right. And uh, we, we're just having a lot of fun. You know, we're getting to make music the old-fashioned way. We sit in the room, and we see what comes out. Talk to me about some of the songs on there, the one that's out of charts mm -hmm. right now. Uh, well, it's Let Me Love You is the one that's yeah. out there right now, and exactly. just fixing to come out with a new one. Uh, live, laugh, and love. So we just keep the music rolling out there, and hopefully people will love what we're doing. How many songs on that album? There's going to be a total of, I think, six. I think, right. yeah. We're doing an EP. Uh, we're doing a, a short oh, version okay. of an album. Yeah. Uh, we, we've come up with this new concept uh, where we're going to try to put out a new record every 18 months, and the best way to do that is to basically put five or six songs on each record. But uh, the fans, uh, on top of that, what they're going to get is they're going to get some additional footage, uh, a DVD content that Keech, he follows us around with cameras even in places we don't want him to. Ooh. And uh, there's, okay. But there's some great stuff of us in the studio working on the record, yeah. uh, behind the scenes out on the road, and all that content will be on the record as well. That should be interesting for the fans because they never see this. Right. Uh, they never right. see right. behind and see anything. Right. You know, <laughs> see you on the stage, done, that's it, you know. Unless they get to the meet and greet and shake your hand, but other than that, the behind the scenes is interesting. What were you going to say? You well, we say? go to Walmart sometimes. You go to Walmart. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> we do. We Walmart. actually go to Walmart. There you go. There you go. How's the Let Me Love You doing? It's doing good. It's you know blazing its way up the charts, and I, the the most amazing thing is uh, with the advent of the internet and all that. It's really shown us what the fans really feel about our music because it's gotten what over I don't know how many uh, uh, plays seven, on the internet. Seven hundred thousand hits, in the last, hits uh, months, on the website. Yeah. So that's kind of a nice gauge to see what people are. Yeah, yeah, I can't figure that out. That's beyond me. You know, when they talk about iTunes and downloads and all that kind of stuff, I'm a little old school. You know, so you have to explain that to me, guys. Well, even even MySpace is doing good. Like we've had over a half a million listens on wow. a, just that one single on on, wow. on, on uh, MySpace. How's Cody doing as far as Lone Star is concerned? Well, I'm gonna have to let him answer okay. that. Okay. <laughs> well, outside doing? of uh, just sticking my boots in the freezer, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> he's he's doing pretty good. I, I'm gonna get him pretty good for that. Uh, we have a little joke we do on the bus uh -huh. where uh, it's not even a joke. If you leave your shoes or something around, because we all have closets and stuff, yeah, yeah. we. We stick them in the freezer to remind you not to do it again. Well, I stuck his in the freezer this morning. <laughs> well, I come on the bus to get ready for the show, and my boots are frozen. Uh -oh. So uh, I have cold feet right got, now. I was going to say you got cold feet. Do you get very cold feet yet? I don't have cold I put okay. my shoes away. There you go. But to answer your question, outside of putting my yeah. boots in the freezer, Cody's <laughs> doing awesome. You're doing good, huh? <laughs> You were first heard on a Christmas list, correct? Am I... uh, that's correct, yes. Back in 07. Now you're, this is your first song for a single uh, well uh, let me love you is the first yes. uh, actual single that I yes. you know with my voice on it and now we've got uh, got one more coming out here pretty soon Wow nothing wrong with that how has the selection of songs changed with Cody and the band have you have you noticed any change in selection or songwriting abilities or we just really uh, it's it's we, we write songs and we record songs, uh, you know, about things that matter to us. And, and uh, it may be a little bit different from in the past when we wrote about Richie's family. But, you know, now it's about <laughs> things. I read that. I read that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> not that it gets Richie, you know, but that's yeah. the stuff he wrote. And, and right. you know, when he'd bring those, those songs to the table and they would get cut, that kind of, uh, that's, what we, that's what we used to hear from us. So now we, it's kind of harkens back to our first two or three albums. You know, it's just about life, you know. That's what country music's about. How many configurations of Lone Star has there been over since 92? Three. Well, as far as a recording act, there's been three, um, but we have we actually went, uh, when the band first formed uh, 16 years ago, right. we went through four drummers before we finally got Keech, so yeah. I guess you could say there's been seven reincarnations of the band, and Michael and I are the remaining original members. Wow. Yeah. Let's talk about a little history here. You've got some gold albums, you've had Lonely Grill was three times platinum. 
That that that, that was a knockout for everybody. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. That was amazed was on there, wasn't amazed. it? Amazed. What about now? Smile and yeah. tell her. You've got done a lot for charity. Mm -hmm. I think that that pays to mention here. You've done a lot for charity. What's Adopt a Platoon? Adopt a Platoon is an organization. It's kind of a ground uh, grassroots organization to help send care packages to soldiers who are deployed oh. overseas for more than a year at a time. So um, basically, if you go to adoptaplatoon.org, you can find out about what they do. Sign up for it. You basically can adopt your own soldier, and at that point, you're responsible to send them letters or little packages, and they have lists of things that they may need over in the desert or whatever. So it's just a nice way to let them know. Maybe some of them may not have big families that can send them stuff all the time, so you're their, their new family. Tell them how they can contribute. Just go to adoptaplatoon.org. Adopt it's easier for you there to say. There you go. And, uh, <laughs> and you can check it all out there. How about the Home for the Heroes benefit concert? Charlie Daniels, Colin Ray, you raised $100,000. Yeah, the, the Home for a Hero concert um, was a concert that we did in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and uh, Sergeant Kevin Downs, uh, yes. we, we did a, uh, a benefit concert. We had a lot of great artists involved in it. You mentioned Charlie Daniels yeah. and, uh, and several others got involved in that. And uh, we raised uh, enough money to build him a house. Yeah, and uh, he, he was badly burned and, and injured uh, over in Iraq uh, fighting for our freedoms. And, uh, and it was just something that uh, we were really proud to be a part of. Cake decorating? <laughs> I just have to say, we were robbed. Dean and I. <laughs> Dean and I got suckered. I mean, we were. Uh, we had the opportunity to decorate a cake with someone that actually knew what they were doing, and and it was actually cool. We actually learned a lot. Yeah. And I think Dean actually learned from it and made yeah. a cake for his daughter. I believe. Yeah, nice. yeah. Well, yeah, we actually we learned so much. I didn't really want to know that much about cake decorating, <laughs> but um, we learned yeah, yeah. so much that uh, there was a, a a little girl that's a friend of my wife's family anyway I mean and so this little girl she's five years old and she saw me do this cake thing so she said that I was gonna make her birthday cake so I was responsible for her five-year-old birthday cake and I made her a little princess cake and did it all myself and it turned out pretty dang good I gotta be honest so if you want to, if you need me to make you a cake uh, six one five <laughs> no don't do that <laughs> <Bake a cake. laughs> Why does that be a real number? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It could be a real number. Uh, All right, we're going to wrap up here in a few minutes. How about the bowling batch, uh, St. Jude's? You did that four years, I think. Am I correct? That's right. That? Four years, and this year, it's actually during Fanfare, during uh, oh, the CMA Country Music Festival, wow. and it kicks off the whole thing, and a lot of other artists contribute their time and their, you know, show up at it, bowl, and the fans get to bowl with us, and it's a way to raise money for St. Jude. And this year, we actually raised more money than we had raised all four years, so yeah. it was, it's really catching on, and, and we hope that it'll do even more next year. Well, that's, that's a success story right there. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate having you on Southern Country. Thank Appreciate you. you. Nice meeting you, we'll nice meeting you. We we'll look right. forward to seeing you on stage. Here's Lone Star taking us out right now in Southern Country.